Welcome back, viewers. New Bushin Spiel. New video. Yay! So, we're doing Ori, the Valley of the Wind, and we're about to enter Soro Pass. No, we are in Soro Pass. We're in Soro Pass, and we're about to Soro go Pass. <laughs> mess up some shit. Whoa! Whoa, that's a laser. That's a laser. That's another laser. Those are some lasers. Okay, Soro Pass. We're going the other way, because that way's too hard. <laughs> so you're going through here? We're going this way. Alright. Save. This way looks difficult. Can you? I already saved it. It's just right back there. Oh. Oh, there are rocks falling. Birds chasing you. Uh... Don't think I was supposed to go that way. I don't think you're supposed to go that way either. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that went nowhere. So we're learning about Soro Pass today. Soro Pass is a very difficult place. Oh, you need to go up there. Oh, yeah. and the wind's dragging you down. Yeah. Much like the man. Yeah. Man's <laughs> always keeping our eye down. Ori and the social justice warriors. Oh, those where are spikes. Supposed, where am I supposed to go then? I can't tell. I don't know, man. Tell me. Uh, I'm gonna go this way. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't do anything. We're gonna go this way because I think this way is the easy way now. Oh, look! A map stone fragment or a key of some kind. Oh shit, the wind goes away. Oh, my <laughs> So something tells me they want you to get that. Yeah. Oh, look at you, sneaky, sneaky. Yeah. Dive bombers. And then what do we do? Go up here? Whoa. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I kind of wish shit. I had that extra firepower right now against yeah. these guys. I bet you do. But you got that extra defense you wanted so much. <laughs> got the extra defense. Okay, so we got two of those. Yay. Two map stones. Oh, that's some more health. Ow! Right underneath the dive bomber. Okay, so looks like a wall that we can't go through. Some someday we're gonna learn how to go through these walls. I'm not sure right now how, but we're gonna figure out how to go through those walls. Ow! Don't do that. Yeah, I don't know either. Don't shoot me. He shot me. He wasn't listening to you. No. This, like, life would be so much better if people just listened to me all the time. Yeah. <laughs> Ouch. Okay, no, don't shoot me this time. Good. So before bowling... I relaxed and played Animal Crossing Amiibo Festival. Okay. With my Amiibos, and I chilled and listened to a podcast. Well, was it an anime podcast? It was actually a retro video game podcast. Okay, I can't get up there either, so I don't know why I went this way at it's all. It's like a four-hour special episode over the PC Engine and TurboGrafx-16. <laughs> Suddenly, a laser. Wait, what? The PC Engine and TurboGrafx-16. Okay. It's, uh... Ugh. It's an old system that came out in the late 80s, and it continued till the early 90s, and it's got good games for it, but, like, the Turbo Duo, for example, it's that's dual CD and, and uh, cartridge, you could say. Okay. Uh, it's very, like, the CD drives are known to die, die out. Oh, uh, okay. And a lot of the best games on it are CD-based, so it's a real shame. Hmm. So I'm listening to the podcast, Retro Game Squad, by the way. They've been going on for uh, three and a half years now. Uh, they announced that they're actually going to stop the podcast at the end of 2016. What? Yeah. You're not allowed to stop. If you're, <laughs> if you're an, an internet personality, your life is no longer in your own control. We decide when you stop, not you. It's when the listeners stop listening, right? Uh, no, it's when the listeners... It's No, no, it's not even that. It's when the listeners stop listening and then later on decide we don't really need you anymore in society. <laughs> I really like these guys. I pretty I've been I've been pretty much listening to them since they started. You know, it's it's just a, a group of guys who enjoy playing games and they came up with their own system. It works. Okay. 
and they're, they 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 don't like if they have a an episode over say action game they're not going to play just the top 10 best action games they're okay. going to play more of the lesser known titles like uh, what so for example in their um RPG special episode that they had. They didn't just play Final Fantasy. So I've gone every way and I've gone stymied at every turn and this is the only way I can find that doesn't have a door blocking it. Or one of those weird wall things blocking yeah. it. So they played Final Fantasy. No, no, no. They didn't play Final Fantasy. They played other... Oh, I can jump off the rocks. Oh. Well. That makes more sense now. Okay, so I can jump off of that rock. You're not going to save? Ow. <laughs> Fine, I'll save. Yay, and then jump, you can just keep jump, going on the, jump. Oh. oh. And then you can just keep going on the falling rocks to get up, up to that guy. You got it, I guess. Yeah. Ouch. <laughs> Good start. Oh, what? You can do this, right? And break stuff? Yeah. Yay. And then why would I do that, though? I'm not oh, there's sure. a map stone. I didn't even see it, did you? Oh, I don't have any map stones right oh, now. Oh, there is a map stone right there, but we don't have any. Hmm. Oops. Ouch. Okay. Understood. Oh, missed it. Yes, you did. So there's a map stone up there. Okay, so that would help. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so for the RPG episode, they didn't just say, they didn't just play Final Fantasy. You know, they didn't just cop out. You know what I mean? Right. They, they actually they played, good ones. They played, like, Secret of Mana, or uh, Mario and the Seven Stars. Cool. You know. I think that was a pretty good game, actually. Oh, Sorrow Pass has finally been illuminated. Nice. Yay! Uh, they, had a, they had a whole episode where it was based off Western, uh, like, cowboy games. Oh, okay. Like yeah. Red Dead Redemption? Uh, well, it's it's a retro podcast, so it's all oh, games okay. like pre two thousand, basically. Oh, okay. Yeah, they. Uh, that's a, that's actually a good point to actually pick between uh, retro and modern, because that really was a lot of turn. That was a pretty huge turning point in the games industry. Yeah, going from the the uh, the nineties to the two thousands. Yeah, was, that was kind of the big. Because that was before PlayStation Two came out. Yeah. PlayStation 2 was a monumental, it was a milestone of a console. It is still like the best bang for buck, best processing system out there, which is why the Air Force bought millions of them and put them into server farms. <laughs> they did, that is a fact. Yep, they absolutely did. So you gotta somehow go left. But how? Um. Whoa. Weird. But, There's like a weird kind of like whirlwind here. Yeah. But like listening to these guys, I've learned about so many games that I just would never play. Right. You know? Because they're not, it's not, they're not, oh, you can't go that, okay. So, where do you think you're supposed to go? It looks like everything's blocked off. It really does look like everything's blocked off. Oh, wait, whoa, whoa. Wait, where, where, what? Oh, that's just, uh, ener that's like an energy cell down there. Yeah. Um. That's just more ability power or whatever. We gotta figure out how to open those doors. All those walls that block stuff. Yeah. Okay. I get the feeling that I'm supposed to go to the left. Somehow. Okay, we'll figure it out. Don't you worry about a thing. I'm on the case. Idea. Oh, I wonder, actually. Can I send these guys into it? Yes. Yes, okay. Genius. Yay! I, w I was thinking more of the long, along the lines of we get another skill that allows us to do that, but I guess, yeah. Uh, oh, here we go. Open that spirit gate. Oh, can I do that? Can I open it? No. No. 
So, not good enough because there's still nothing here. Well, that thing's firing at you, isn't it? Yeah, I can't throw that stuff into it, can I? I think you... can't you? I don't think so. Stop. <laughs> Stop. Oh, wait, it's open. Oh, <laughs> you did open it. <laughs> I did open it. We're I just so didn't good. realize yeah. I did. So... Professional or I player. These, um... Open for sponsorship. Ouch. So, this this podcast was really good, because it, it... It didn't motivate me to continue retro-collecting, but I had completely stopped. Hmm. Um... Like, wholeheartedly. You're right. I just... I just what, when, whenever that generation came out, I would buy it, and then I would just have the games, and then I just wouldn't increase the collection at all. Right. Afterwards. I was just like, these are the games I got during the, this, like, five-year span, and I'm done. <laughs> How do I... I don't think you, Well, you definitely can't go that way. There's something wacky going on. Oh, ouch. <laughs> Like I had a I had a Sega Genesis, but I only had like five games. Right. I had a Super Nintendo, but I only had like four games. Right. Um. I never had a GameCube, and then I was motivated to get a GameCube. Not not because of them, but because of the whole collecting aspect. And GameCube has good games that don't come out on other systems. That's kind of what I collect for, not to have just just titles to have. Yeah. I want to have titles that I'm actually going to play at some... at, at I'm actually going to enjoy playing these and try and beat them. Right. You know, I always, I always see online there's a bunch of people that, like, oh, I got my latest pickups, and it's like the f four out of the five games they just got are the shittiest titles you'll ever see. Ever see. Right. It's just to have it, you know? Like, well, what's the point of having it if you don't really care about the game? What's this about? Look at this thing. Oh. Whoa. What does this thing do? I don't know. Oh. Can you... Whoa. Oh, and then it goes up. Huh. That's crazy. So you're gonna have to open the door and then I probably just put it through the door. Yep. Well. <laughs> open door. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> Oops. Well, door, you win this round, but I'll be back. I always am. But I've been, I've been looking, cause I have a lot of. Yeah, I found a secret. Oh yeah. Energy cell. Yay. So I have a lot of PC Engine games. I have a couple on the the Wii Virtual Console, and uh, I have a bunch of like emulated games on the Ouya. Right. You know, but I've been looking for a few years now to like see if I actually want to buy like a Turbo or a or a uh, Core Graphics. You know, there there were so many different kinds of models. Right. The PC Engine. Oh, and and that that podcast recently came out with, well, at the time recently of recording, Ouch. they came out with a uh, Turbo Duo PC Engine special, and they're playing a bunch of games for it. And uh, and they were good games. Yeah, I mean, the their review system is really good, and they they speak highly. They had they they don't just say, oh, this is a great game. It's like they they talk about its flaws and and what's good about it. You know, they just don't go. They just don't go. Oh, it's cheap. Go get it. <laughs> right. Like sometimes they go. See what I'm doing? Yeah. Using my noggin. Sometimes they go. Oh, this game's shitty. There's a reason why it's two dollars. Right. It's a piece of crap. <laughs> okay, I'm in an unsafe zone, but I made it slightly more safe. Ouch. <laughs> Spiky. There's another one of these things over here. Am I supposed to throw it up like that? Okay. 
Okay. And then maybe not. No, not that one. Oh yeah, yeah. Actually, I oh, did. Oh, you're gonna have to do them both. <laughs> That's what's up with that. Okay. Yeah. So that one's blocked. Now I gotta find a way to block this one up here. Use the. Oh, use the I got it! I got it! I got it! What? I gotta use this one to do that one, and then there's gonna be another one up top. I'm supposed to use to block this one. Oh. These I, sneaky see, I was, little I was buggers. You use the other one. These sneaky little buggers. Don't hurt me! Ow! Oh, you just got that in time. Okay, so this is what I do. Oh, okay, here. and that, that permanently blocked that laser. Yep. Yep. Oh, jeez. That jackass. He is not your friend. No, he's a jerk. <laughs> now, there's another system that came out in the 90s called the 3DO. That looks very unappealing. Oh, Along yeah. Along with the Atari Jaguar. The Atari Jaguar was a... Yeah, that was the last ditch attempt by Atari. So... To stay in the game. Like, those two systems I have no desire to have. Yeah. Yay! Ability point! Just one, though. <laughs> game saved! Yay! Floor bashed! Yay! Floor bashed twice! Yay! Alright. Shortcut. Breaking it up! Breaking all the rules! Nice! Almost up it to the Sorrel Pass. Yeah. Almost at the top. This is, this is Ouch. just might be the, the prettiest part of the game. You think so? Yeah. It's all spiky, though. Still pretty. <laughs> A rose is pretty, and it's got thorns. <laughs> wow. Okay, slow down there, Walt Whitman. <laughs> Ouch. I laugh. No, who's, the, who's the person who sings that, that silly song, Every Rose Has Its Thorns? Every rose has its thorn. I don't know. It's like one of those kind of schmaltzy country singers, right? I know nothing about country music. Absolutely nothing. Yeah, there's not a lot. I might, I might know one country singer. Top of my head. There's not a lot that you'd really want to need. <laughs> real, that you'd really want to know about country music, to be honest. There's uh, Hannah Montana's father. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, uh, when it comes to country music, if it was made after the 1970s, it's shit. <laughs> That's the rule. Unless it's like alt country, and even then, you gotta get really, you gotta get really picky. This is like a level in Rayman. Rayman has a lot of uh, wind levels like this, where there's oh, thorns. Yeah. yeah, where there's thorns everywhere. Huh. And you have you can only take like one or two hits. Are there also a lot of roses? There are a lot of these spikes, so maybe hmm. they're roses. <laughs> Ow! Stop hurting me! <laughs> Oh, you're bad. Ugh. Click, click, click. Keep clicking. It really is just with this. It's like treading water. <laughs> That's what it's like. And treading water. I love it. Ouch. In uh, Earthworm Gym 2, there's a level like this where you're like a salamander. Didn't we play that game? Uh, Yeah, we played it a little bit. And then we never beat it, but we played it a little bit. Yeah, we played it for like a couple hours or something. Yeah. This is before we we were recording anything. Yep. We didn't, yeah, we didn't ever beat it, but we got to the point where we're like, yeah, we're done with this. No, we just, it was, it wasn't that. It's just we were tired of playing video games for the night. Yeah. And then we just never picked it up again, because you have to start the game over. <laughs> yeah, every time, you, yeah, because it's an old console. <laughs> nice. I'm really talented. I'm nervous for you. My talents are being wasted in my current occupational pursuits. Okay, so that looks like it's a secret. Triple jump! <laughs> yes! Boom! It looked like a secret, but it, it seems wasn't. like it's also important. Yeah. They have a lot of in invisible walls in this game. Yay! 
Sweet. And it's a froggy. I'm trying to shoot him right now, and I cannot. It's a douchebag. That's what he is. I hate these frogs. Stop hurting me. You know you can fire their projectiles back at him. Oh, yeah, you're right. But why don't I just do that? Yeah, and it, like, kills him quicker. Yay. And then you also have the, the, the hold down the blue button, which will destroy the shit out of that guy. Wait, you can hold down the blue button? Yeah, it creates that explosion. Oh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you mean. <laughs> We, like, have have not been using it at all. Ouch. Well, how about you get back to that point next time on Moose and Spiel? Next time on Moose and Spiel. Watch this. Oh, God. Poor Ori.